yourself. Hello? What's up, Tube? Thank you for tuning back into another adventure here on 4th Dimension TV with your boy Ryan, as always. Where is that? There he is. He's all the way back there right now. <laughs> no, anyways, guys, so we're actually back again this week. We were here last week, but I wanted to do a little more investigating for you guys because this place is really haunted, so that's what we're here to do today. We're back at the New York City Farm Colony again in Staten Island. It's kind of gloomy out as you can see. It's about 4.30 p.m. So it'll be dark, it'll be light for a couple more hours. I'm gonna go take the drone off on the roof. We were talking for a while, we met some nice people here. You know, got some more subscribers. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but it's cool, I like meeting new people. It's a good way to network, you know? But we're back here, guys, creepier than ever. You can see, I mean, here, look, check it out. That's one of the buildings there. I'll spin around for you real quick. There's another one back. Wait, where are we at? Back over that Bro, way. So They're all over. Yeah, I mean these, and I don't know if we were in these other buildings. I don't think we were in these buildings yet. But anyways, cut it down, guys. I want to get up there, do what we have to do. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please smash that like button. And please hit the little bell, turn on the notifications, so you know when new content's coming out. Let's do it, guys. Let's get this channel up to where it needs to be. Keep growing. Let's do this Fourth Dimension TV style. It's about to get intense. Hey guys, real quick before we get in the video, I just wanted to take a minute and explain to you guys what went on in this video and why half of it's missing audio. So this is the second, this video you're watching is a part two to the New York City Farm Colony. There's three parts of it. <sighs> guys, that night, it was weird. I mean, we were getting a lot of activity, but I've never had this happen to me in a place. And I've been to some really haunted locations before. So basically what happened was, I went, I was trying to upload all my um, footage and everything so I could start editing it in uh, Premiere Pro and I was having issues. It wasn't uploading my files onto um, Adobe, which is weird. I never had that problem before. So I started looking through it. Half of my videos in between, right when we mentioned paranormal investigating in the clip, that's when the audio cut out. And it was cut out probably for about an hour and a half to two hours of our investigation. I had no clue. No clue whatsoever until I started editing. So I just wanted to explain to you guys what happened there. Sorry, it's not me. I tried I tried to clip through as much as possible so you guys could see what was going on and didn't miss anything. But, you know, it's a shorter video for that reason because there's a lot of footage I wanted to show you guys and investigating, but we can't because there's no audio. You know, I have Spirit Box, all that stuff where there's no audio. So I apologize for that. Part three will be out next week. That has audio, I promise. <laughs> But anyways, guys, yeah, so there's something paranormal, I guess. I never experienced this before. It's really weird. And then all of a sudden, it just cuts back on, and then we have audio again. So it's weird. But, yeah, I just wanted to um, explain that to you guys. I apologize. I really do. I hope you still enjoy the video. Please watch all the way through. Please drop a fat like on it. Comment if you want on anything. Keep your eyes and ears posted, as always. And thank you so much for subscribing. Guys, we just shot over 100 subscribers. <laughs> I know some of you are probably laughing, but it's a newer channel, and you got to start somewhere. So we're growing. That's all that matters, guys. So please keep showing love. Keep watching my videos. Keep subscribing. I promise the content will just keep getting better and better for you guys. Let's get back into the video. Alright. Tube, we're headed into uh, the one building. I don't think we were in this one last time. So here we go. I'm going to turn the camera on. See, look how instantaneously dark it gets. Let's turn it around. And let these spirits talk to us. Tell us what they want to tell us. Spirits, we are back again. My name's Ryan. Who's Ed? Hey, I think we were in this one because there's a sheep right here. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we were, dude. I don't know. Um, you can tell us what, tell us what you want. Oh yeah, maybe we were. Maybe I don't think we were in that other back one, dude. Yeah. But let's just go up for a second anyway. Tell us what you want. Speak into my microphone. Touch me. Pull on me. Speak through me, if you'd like. Once you say what you say, you make sure you leave me. Yeah, we were in this one. 
So you got the plastic here. I'm starting to feel that. Yeah, okay, yeah, this hello, is... This is where... Hello, hello. You're just here exploring. This is where the guy was sleeping. Yeah. And he's he's been here again, too, because that's this is new. That's a new right there. Well, I was going to say this is new. Yeah, he's been here. He might even be hiding up here. Hey, man, you don't got to hide. Don't scare us, all right? Which... which Because, uh... It don't matter. We're just here checking the place out. We're not here to... We're not here to bother you. All right, spirits, you know what time it is. Make sure you do communicate with us this time. I brought some equipment. You'll be able to show yourself. All right, guys, so we're actually, we're up on the roof real quick. I'm gonna fly the drone. I wanna get some drone shots real quick while we still have daylight. Um, That'll be really cool, I think, to get some cool B-rolls up here. And then um, we're going to start investigating. We, we explored most of the, I think most of these buildings. I don't know if we explored the one, but um, I brought the SLS camera this time, guys. Um, it's right, Hi. right there in Ed's, Ed's hand right there. There it is. So we're going we're gonna to set up the SLS, and we're going we're gonna, to, what we'll probably do is we might even set it up and then start using other equipment and see if things will come through to our calling. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm, I'm going to take the drone off real quick, so that way we can get back to what we're doing.
All right, guys, so I'm just setting up real quick. We're gonna do a Ouija board before we head out, and I'm actually gonna set up the SLS camera right here. And if anything comes through, it'll show itself. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this off. All right, guys, so y'all see me right there. I got my camera up in the side right there. Got the SLS camera set up right there, and I uh, got the Ouija board set up right here. So what we're gonna do is, oh, can you see me? There you are, sorry, I forgot I had a duck because I had to lean down. So I'm gonna keep the SLS running on us while we're doing a Ouija board for a little bit, see if anything comes through. And um, you know, if, if something does come through, hopefully it'll pick up those figures on the SLS, okay? So that's what we're doing here. I see some nails on this board. Yeah. Um, all right, listen up, spirits. We're gonna spin this plant cheddar out three times. We're opening up the doorway, okay? We're opening up the doorway to the other side. And you're to come through and communicate with us if you'd like, but I hope you would like to. Okay? Here we go. Calling all spirits, calling all spirits, calling all spirits. I'd like to communicate with you. Please use your energy, come through, move this plant chat. Either take it to yes, let us know you are here, spell your name out. Tell us whatever you desire. Bring some energy through and move the plan check. Anything. Anything can come through.
did Cora do? So that could be could be disobeying. I gotta stand up. Yeah. All entities here, come join us. Come show yourself. Give us a knock. Give us a bang. Give us a tap. Do something else other. Yeah, guys, um, oh, you can't see me. I just realized because the light is facing that way. <laughs> yeah, um, so we're getting some uh, some communication on the um, on the Ouija board, guys. Uh, <laughs> we got a little girl's name, Cora. We got her name that came up. Um, we got. Uh, she was four years old. Yeah, it said that she was four, um, and that. She was murdered. She was essentially probably beaten to death, like I think the majority of these kids in here, um, for breaking a dish. A dish, yeah, literally a dish. She broke a dish, and it seems like she was killed for that. So that's pretty fucking horrible and gruesome, and uh, it's messed up. All right, guys. So real quick, I'm just gonna run the SLS camera in here for a few minutes. I want to see. Um, See if you know we can get anything to manifest on screen here. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, oh, so yeah, pretty much is it. <laughs> I'm gonna start walking around here, see if anything wants to show itself, and if we do happen to see something, oh, fuck, there's just something on the steps. Can you show yourself again? I saw you up there. That might have been a little kid, dude. It could have been a little kid just showing itself.
Dandy spirits. Lingering. Around. You upstairs? I saw someone on the steps before. Do you like steps? Huh? You don't have to be shy. Can you show yourself? I think you're up there. Come on. We're going to go soon. Show yourself. Hello. Come, come jump in front of the in front of the camera here. Come on, then we'll leave you go. Then you can go to sleep. something. I just heard a knock over here. Is that you? You playing games now? Can you do that again, please? Do another bang like you did last time. Come on. Picking you up, so that means it's working. Show yourself. Walk into my camera. Yeah. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, the only thing I picked up was for a split second. Kid on the steps. Yeah. Yep. I'm not 
not even going up. Where's that little child that was on the steps? You don't want to come out? Yep. It's like he was sliding down the banister. It was real quick. And it was small, like a kid. Can you do that one more time? Can you show yourself one more time, please, to validate? Can you try sliding down the banister again? I know it takes a lot of energy. Can you show me why I don't think? Just validate for me. Okay. Thank you for showing yourself twice this way. Maybe that's all you have energy to do. That's okay. But next time you see me and hear my voice, or any of our voices, make sure that you give us communication because we're friends. You understand? Thank you. Bye, Cora. Cora, yeah, thank you. I got that, that, I got those two little, that's why I'm holding it there for a second. I got, I got, it was like real quick, like it looked like, at first it looked like a little kid was peeking through, mm -hmm. like the, um, through the railing like that. Uh huh. And then, um, the second time, it was like they're sliding down the railing. Mm. It was weird. Alright. Yeah. Check out the evidence later on. Yeah, yeah, I'll look through it then and see what happened. Alright. Yeah, I'll take that camera. Thanks, man. Alright, dude. Yeah, guys, so we're done for the night. Yeah, we got some. I, mean, I don't know. We got, always got to look at footage. I just wanted to come back here. I, I didn't have much time to invent, to uh, really research a good place to go this week for you guys that I know we could definitely get into 100%. So I figured we'd come back here, finish what we were doing, you know, um, you know, just finish exploring some of the buildings that we thought we didn't, and then do a little investigating. We did a little investigating. We got some evidence. There might be more. I don't know. I didn't even look through the first footage we did yet. I'm finishing my other one. The, uh, I was having some issues with my computer. Out of my own mistake, I had a button disabled and it wasn't allowing it to work. So <laughs> I feel stupid about that, whatever, guys. But, um, yeah, so I, you know, I don't know. Like I said, you never know until you go through, watch the footage, and figure it out. I think a full time out nighttime investigation here might be a little different. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. Spirits get a little more active sometimes when it's night and there's less going on. I, I just, I don't know. If a place is haunted, it's haunted, though. That's the thing. But yeah, I don't know. We got some stuff. It's fun. I just love exploring this stuff. It's history, and it's just what we do here, you know? Appreciate you coming with. I'm blinding myself. Sorry, that's why I'm squinting at you. <laughs> Thank you for coming with on this adventure again. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please smash that like button, and please hit the little bell. Turn on notifications. So that way you know when we have new content coming out on 4th Dimension TV. And I just appreciate the support, guys. Keep subscribing. Keep telling your friends. Keep smashing that like button. And let's just keep building this empire, all right? Got anything to say, Ed? You need to notice anything interesting today or anything? A lot of energy. We went into a couple new buildings. And uh, it was great exploration. And uh, we did pick up something in the kitchen area of, the, of that one building. Yeah, actually, we did. And, I guess um, was, yeah. the, uh, the spirit box, uh, we had great communication that yeah. heard my name heard Ryan's name yep. and uh, they wanted to play with a ball that I picked up at a different building and I had it in a plastic bag on me and they wanted the little girl wanted to play with the ball yeah heard, she heard did. her voice come through yeah. yeah so it was a very overall very good night for uh, for exploring yeah yeah it was so you heard it you heard it guys <laughs> No, and there was, that was some stuff I forgot to mention. Yeah, about the spirit box and everything we did. We got some pretty good communication on there. Very clear, quick, intelligent responses. Like, 
like when I say intelligent, like you're almost having a conversation with somebody a few times. Absolutely. Where it was like, um, you know, yeah, it's just I can't really remember some of the phrases. But, yeah, you, but you know, it's not always going to be spot on. No, it's going to be constant communication back and forth, maybe four or five times, and then it goes loose with the communication. It's not right, right on. Yeah, and that's usually another way to be Yeah, it's usually a mixture coming in and causing. Yep, exactly right. And that's why a lot of times it doesn't make sense. And you have to kind of piece it together and use your investigative skills. Thanks for coming with on this adventure. Remember, if you haven't, subscribe, smash that like button, do all that good stuff, drop a like. We risk our lives going to these places to bring you guys content. So just make sure you're supporting us and showing that love. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. We got a long drive home. It's Fourth Dimension TV, your boy Ryan. Got Ed back there. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.